Hi, this is Derek Keats, and I've got a lot of information from people like myself who are just learning how to do stuff. And over the last uh, couple of weeks, I've been making some fairly complicated diagrams in LibreOffice Draw, and I thought I'd share back to the community that helped me uh, some of the things that I've learned how to do. So this is the first of the videos that I'll contribute. And this one is how to make circular arrows in LibreOffice Draw. Um, I haven't tried it in LibreOffice Present, but I would imagine in, uh, the same thing works there. So let's get started. Um, firstly, I have on my desktop here, I have a folder called Demo1, which is what this is going to be. I have some templates uh, for LibreOffice Draw, so I'll just create an A4 uh, landscape drawing and I'll call it demo one and then open it in LibreOffice Draw. Now as you can see it's just a blank page. So how do we get from a blank page to having uh, circular arrows that are different colors as I showed you in the um, in the title slide when I started off this uh, presentation. So let's look quickly. Well firstly we're going to go over here to the left hand side and we're going to select uh, the circle um, shape. And we're going to just draw a circle in the, in, on the screen somewhere, so on the, on the page somewhere. So here's our circle. Now we're going to go Control-C and Control-V to copy that circle. And I'm just going to give it a different color. It's not, in, not necessary at all in any way, but I'm just going to give it a different color. And I'm going to turn off the line. Um, and then I'm going to hold down Shift to make sure it retains its shape and just make it smaller. Uh, that's probably a little bit too small for making arrows, so I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger again. Now you see we've got two circles overlapping one another. Let's just get rid of the line on the bottom one as well. Um, just adds a complication we don't need right now. So now I've selected all of them again by uh, dragging the select uh, tool or by going Control A to select all. And then I'm going to align them first, centered horizontally, and then align again, centered vertically, so that they're precisely aligned to each other. Now, you can see that we have a yellow circle and a blue circle. Doesn't help us much yet. So we just select all of those, make sure that both are selected. If you had more than two items on the, on the page, you might want to manually select them, but I've selected all of them. Now we right click. We go to Shapes, and we say Subtract, which will subtract the upper uh, layer from the bottom one. So Subtract. Now you see we have a circle with a hole in the middle. Um, and just to prove that it's a hole, I will make a line across. Move that line to the, to the back and give it a different color so you can see it. And you can see this line is behind, and the circle is hollow in the middle. Okay, so let's delete that. Now, the next step in making our, our uh, circular arrows is to get rid of some more areas of the circle. So we'll select a, a rectangle tool here, a rectangle shape here, and estimate how much space we need for the, for the arrowheads. And if we want to put any text in between the two, that looks about okay to me. So now we select all again. No, sorry, wait, let's just make a copy of this one. Control C, Control V, and move it out of the way for the time being. Um, and let's turn off the line in this one, and turn off the line in the other one, that other copy that we made. Okay, so now we're going to select these two, and we're going to align them uh, vertically centered. Okay, um, so I'm just going to change the color so you can see it better, but does color doesn't matter. Okay, so that's that one. Now we take this one, we select the rotate uh, tool here, and holding down the shift key so that it retains the, the angles, we make a vertical version of it. And this one we select the circle, and we select the vertical rectangle, and now we align them on the horizontal axis. So now you can see that we've got two rectangles horizontal and vertical crossing the circle. And we can give this one a different color as well if you want so you can see it better. 
but it doesn't matter. So now we select everything, Control A, and we select shapes, subtract again. Okay, so now we have what's left of our circle. <coughs> now we have to make the arrowheads. So we go back to the shapes, we find a convenient triangle, and we draw it to be more or less the size we want our arrowheads to be. Let's say it's like that. Um, we hide the line, and we go over here, and we're going to flip this one vertically. No, not horizontally, that was silly. We're going to go over here and flip this one vertically, and we attach it to the shape here. And move it slightly so that it looks more or less centered. Okay, so you can see we've got one of our arrows. Bring it down here. We're going to select the rotate tool again. Rotate it to the left until it's lined up. Move it again a little bit to make it look correct. And you can see we've got the second of our arrows. Now we can copy it again. Move it over here, select Rotate again, rotate it to the right angle, and line it up. One more time, do the same thing. Go over here, select Rotate, hold down the Shift key to keep uh, the, the angle straight, and lo and behold, we have our circular arrows. Ah, you say, but that's not really circular arrows because it's still separate shapes. Mm, yes, you're right. So let's do something. Let's select everything here. And let's go uh, merge. Okay, now we've got one shape. But what if you want to make the arrows a different color? Obviously, if you, if you go up here now and you choose color um, and you pick a color, everything is going to change color. So that's not necessarily what you want. You may want to have different arrows, different colors. No problem. So we go back here. We go select, sorry, um, let's not do that. We select everything, Control A. Go here and check the split item. Now you can see that the arrows are separate and each one can be selected individually. Now I have a palette here that I use for making presentation slides, so I'll uh, and I've got complementary colors for for uh, fill and outline. So I'm going to use the uh, lavender fill, and I'm going to select the line, and I'm going to go back to the same palette and select the lavender outline. Now you can see that you can do uh, various things with these arrows. Um, in order to 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 create the uh, complete the picture, so let's just quickly do all of them. Um, let's make uh, this one. I don't know, uh, light green, and give it a a green outline. And let's make this one. I don't know, gray too with a gray five outline and let's make this one another color and you get the you get the picture uh, i don't know light yellow Ooh, it's a bit ugly but uh, you get the picture with a dark orangey yellow outline so now we have our our arrows and it's very simple to make arrows using subtract and merge and split using LibreOffice. So I hope you find that useful. Thank you very much for watching.